Hi everyone and welcome to Payam Academy. My name is Payam and I'm currently a visiting professor at University of California, Irvine. But I was also at Williams College for one year and I was at UC Berkeley for 10 years. And I'm very, very excited to present you an amazing application of linear algebra to solve differential equations. So let's first start with a very easy problem. And you're like, Payam, why are you wasting my time with this easy problem? But well, you'll see why. Let's solve the following system of differential equations. x prime of t equals to 5x of t, and y prime of t equals to 3y of t. So here, x and y, they are functions of t, and you want to solve this system. Well, hopefully not too bad to solve, because notice those two variables, they are uncoupled. So the solution is simply x of t equals to a e to the 5t and y of t equals to b e to the 3t. Now, I know this is, might seem a bit boring, but let's see what that means in terms of linear algebra. So notice this is the same as the following, the vector x prime of t equals to 5, 0, 0, 3 times the vector x of t. Well, I want to remind you the vector x of t is just the vector of the two functions, little x of t and little y of t. Okay. So in particular, notice systems with diagonal matrices where things are uncoupled are very easy to solve. And now let's see, let's use this idea to solve a more complicated problem. So now, let's solve this problem. Okay. And I'm going to you know, confuse you a little bit. Instead of writing x and y, because we'll need that later, I'll write x1, x2. So x1 of prime of t equals to uh, 7 x1 of t plus 2 x2 of t and x2 prime of t equals to minus 4 x1 of t plus x2 of t. Good luck solving that, right? <laughs> However, we will see that this problem is actually as easy as this problem. So let's do our linear algebra spiel again and let's write this in terms of matrices. So again, let our vector x of t be x1 of t, x2 of t. Then the system really becomes x prime of t equals to 7, 2 minus 4, 1 of x of t. And this matrix, let's call it A. So in other words, you have x prime of t equals to ax of t. Right. And now remember, systems with diagonal matrices are easy to solve. This system is hard to solve. Well, if only A was a diagonal matrix. But wait a moment. Da -da -dum. Here's where linear algebra kicks in. Because it turns out in most cases, it is actually easy to turn a matrix into a diagonal matrix. It's called, drum roll, diagonalization. So, let me show you first the theory of it, and then we'll see how to apply it to this problem. Namely, let's see what happens if you diagonalize A. So, if you use linear algebra and stuff, you can actually write A as PDP inverse, where it turns out D is 5003, and P is 1, 1, minus 1, minus 2. So D is the diagonal matrix of eigenvalues, and P is the matrix of eigenvectors. Then let's see. Our original system, what does it become? We have x prime equals to ax, but remember that A is just PDP inverse x. And then let's play around with this a little bit. 
This P, let's put in the left-hand side, P inverse X prime equals to D P inverse X. Now, P is that P inverse is like a constant matrix, so we can put it inside of the derivative. So P inverse X prime equals to D P inverse X. And then, well, let's just name this something. So let Y be P inverse X. That in fact, what we have is that Y prime equals to DY. And you might say, okay, but it turns out this is super useful because what have we done? We took our original system that was hard to solve and turned it into a diagonal system, like this one here. And remember, systems with diagonal matrices are easy to solve. So, what does that mean? So if y equals to y1, y2, then y prime equals to dy becomes, becomes y1 of t equals to 5y1 of t, and y2 of t equals to, uh, prime, sorry, prime prime equals to 3 y2 of t, and it's easy to solve for y1 and y2 based on our previous example. So y1 is a e to the 5t, y2 is b e to the 3t, and the question is, we have our vector y, how can we find our vector x? Simply using this definition, because y equals to p inverse of x. Of x becomes simply that x equals to py, py like pi m, what a coincidence, <laughs> maybe not, and that becomes 1, 1, minus 1, minus 2 uh, of a e to the 5t, b e to the 3t, and that becomes, then we have x of t is x1 of t, x2 of t. If you actually do the matrix multiplication, it becomes a e to the 5t, 1 minus 1, plus b e to the 3t, 1 minus 2. Ta-da! So you explicitly solve the differential equation x prime equals to ax, simply by using this linear algebra trick of diagonalization and basically multiplying, you know, your vector y by this uh, matrix p. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs>